ever feel like uh, you know being a leader is way harder than it looks from the outside. Yeah, for sure. Building a team, inspiring people, making tough decisions when the pressure's on. It's a lot. It really is a lot to juggle. So today we're diving into a program that claims it has some answers. Advanced Conscious Leadership, developed by Positivity Global Coaching. And what really caught my eye with this one is how they blend neuroscience, communication techniques. They even mention nonviolent communication with conscious leadership principles. Right. Sounds like a pretty unique approach. Yeah, it does. You see, a lot of leadership programs out there, they kind of just offer those general tips or maybe try to pump you up with some motivational speeches. But this one seems different. It digs into the why behind effective leadership. Like they use neuroscience to explain how our brains react under pressure, how we make decisions, how we build or don't build relationships. It's interesting, right? Because most of us, we don't really think about the mental game of leadership in those terms. Exactly. So it's less about trying to copy someone else's leadership style, mm -hmm. you know, mimicking those charismatic figureheads. And it's more about really understanding what's happening in our own minds and in the minds of the people we lead. Right. And how those mental processes can either help or hinder our leadership. So then they get into some really interesting stuff. Like they talk about how stress hormones can literally hijack our prefrontal cortex, which is the part of our brain that's in charge of rational decision making. Oh, I've heard about that. It's like our brains basically revert to like survival mode when we're under pressure. Exactly. Oh. And then we're not exactly thinking clearly, are we? Not exactly known for making our best decisions when we're in that state. Right. So the program teaches you techniques to actually manage those stress responses. That way, even when the pressure's on, you're able to make those clear strategic decisions. Which, let's be honest, that's when it really matters, right? When the stakes are high. Absolutely. But it's not just about managing our own minds, is it? Yeah. This program also digs into how we communicate and interact with our teams, drawing on stuff like transactional analysis. Yeah, which is fascinating. It's basically the idea that we all have these different ego states, parent, adult, child, that influence how we communicate and relate to each other. Okay, so how does that actually play out in, say, a work setting? Give me an example. Sure. So imagine you're in a team meeting and a project is, you know, seriously behind schedule, a leader operating from the critical parent ego state, they might start blaming people or making accusations. Oh, yeah. Right? And how do you think the team's going to react to that? Most likely, they're going to fall into that adaptive child state, either getting defensive or totally shutting down. And that's how you get stuck in those unproductive power struggles. Exactly. It creates that drama triangle dynamic, and nobody wins in that scenario. Definitely seen that happen. Gets messy. But here's the thing. When leaders understand transactional analysis, they can learn to recognize their own ego states. And then they can make a conscious choice to communicate from that adult perspective. Which is more about... It's calmer, more objective. It's about focusing on solutions, not blame. And that shift in energy can completely change the dynamic of a team. So instead of pointing fingers when something goes wrong, it becomes more of a collaborative effort to get things back on track. Exactly. And that's what this program is all about. Sounds like it provides some very practical tools to make that happen. Like it's not just theoretical, right? No, not at all. They really emphasize putting these concepts into practice. So it's less about just knowing the information yeah. and more about actually changing how you lead day to day. Yeah, it's about giving leaders a new way to make sense of their own behavior and, importantly, how their behavior impacts their team. And once you understand that, you can start to communicate more effectively, build stronger relationships, and get better outcomes for everyone. That's the idea, yeah. And you know what I really appreciate? It's not just about, like, concepts and theories. It seems like they actually give you a framework, a structure to put all this into practice. They have that three-part approach, diagnostic, coaching, training. Yeah, they walk you through it step by step. Makes it way less overwhelming. Totally. Because you kind of have to know where you're starting from before you can figure out where you want to go. Right. Like, what are your natural tendencies as a leader? Exactly. Everyone has their own style. And that's where that diagnostic piece comes in. They use the DISCI assessment, which is specifically designed to, you know, pinpoint different leadership styles. Oh, I love a good personality assessment. Who doesn't want to figure out their leadership style? Ah. But it's not just a one-time thing, is it? You mentioned coaching earlier. Right. So you take the DISCI assessment, you get some insights into your strengths, maybe some blind spots. Which we all have, by the way. Exactly. Nobody's perfect. But then they pair you with a certified coach. Okay. Tell me more about that, because that's a pretty unique feature. 
Yeah, the personalized coaching is huge. I think that's where this program really stands out. It's not just about, you know, reading a bunch of material or listening to lectures. It's about actually taking that information and applying it to your own leadership, your own specific challenges. Yeah, because we all have those too. Totally. And those coaching sessions are one-on-one. -on -one. You get that dedicated time to really dive deep into your goals, whatever those might be, and then work through any roadblocks you're facing, any limiting beliefs, all that stuff. So it's like having a personal trainer, but for your leadership skills, mm -hmm. which honestly, that's kind of amazing. Right. And it's flexible too. The core program is all online. So you can learn at your own pace you know, fit it into your schedule. Because let's be real, we're all busy. Exactly. But then they also mentioned that they can incorporate like face-to-face -face elements depending on, you know, what you're looking for or maybe what your organization needs. That's cool. So it's adaptable, which I appreciate. Yeah. But okay, let's talk about time commitment for a second. Yeah. Because like you said, we're all busy people. Their materials say the whole program is 27.25 hours. So how does that break down? Like realistically? It seems pretty manageable. Yeah. They've definitely designed it with busy professionals in mind. The diagnostic itself is super quick, only takes 15 minutes. And the coaching, you have three sessions total, about an hour each. So that's three hours. But those are spread out, right? It's not like three hours all at once. No, no. They're spaced out over the entire program, which gives you time to, you know, actually process what you're learning, try stuff out, see what works. Right. Because otherwise it's just information overload, right? Yeah. We don't want leadership development to become another thing on our to-do list that we're like constantly behind on. For sure. It's about making it a sustainable part of how you lead, not just another thing to check off the list. Totally. And it sounds like they get that. So they make it work for you, even with a busy schedule. Yeah. And the other thing I like is how they emphasize the bigger picture. Like, it's not just about you becoming a better leader, although obviously that's a big part of it. It's about how that impacts your team, your whole organization. Yeah. It's that ripple effect. Right? Exactly. Remember those questions we talked about at the beginning, like how do you build a stronger team? How do you inspire people? How do you navigate change well? Those are all those big picture outcomes that this program is designed to address. It's about taking all those essential leadership qualities, mm -hmm. communication, strategic thinking, being able to build trust and then like weaving them all together. Yeah. It's about being a conscious leader, someone who's really aware of the impact they have on others. And then using that awareness to create positive change. Exactly. Because it's not enough to just be a good leader. You have to be a leader who's intentional, who leads with like awareness and purpose. Absolutely. And that's what this program is all about, helping you develop those skills and that mindset. So. Based on everything we've talked about today, this Advanced Conscious Leadership Program, it seems like if you're serious about stepping into that next level of leadership. It might be worth checking out. It seems like they've really distilled it down to like the most important stuff. Yeah. Taking all that research on, you know, neuroscience, communication, leadership mm. and made it accessible. And, you know, more than that, they actually give you a way to use it to make a real impact. Why it? Because at the end of the day, it's all about results, isn't it? Exactly. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking, OK, I get it. I want to be a more conscious leader. If you're feeling that pull, and I think a lot of us are these days. Yeah, for sure. This program seems like it's worth looking into. Absolutely. It gives you a lot to think about. It does. And as you're thinking about it, here's a little something to chew on. And this is for everyone listening, by the way. Think about a challenge that you're dealing with right now in your own work, in your own leadership. It could be anything. Maybe you're trying to get your team on board with a new vision. Maybe you're dealing with a tough stakeholder situation or just feeling stuck on something. How could you use those principles we've been talking about, like understanding your own brain when you're stressed, communicating more effectively, being aware of those ego states? How could those things help you approach that challenge differently? It's all about shifting your perspective. Right. And maybe, just maybe, getting a better outcome because of it. Exactly. So much good stuff to think about. This has been a really insightful deep dive. I agree. Advanced conscious leadership. Really interesting approach. Definitely something to consider if you're ready to level up your leadership game. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well